Hello everyone and welcome to the Make It Happen video series and the topic for today is how do you keep focused, okay? It's still not on here, founder of Master of the Markets, Elite Trades Conference and the Traders Open Day. So right, so what is firstly the beginning of the topic, what is focus, okay? This is something that most people really do not address. So what is focus? Now we have to then take a step back and see how does focus come about and what is the main precursor for focus. So you see, viewers, is that the first thing is, focus is a thought, is it not? And you only get focused when you are single-pointed on a certain objective or an outcome, right? So you see, if you're single-pointed, if the mind is single-pointed and if it's focused on a certain task towards a certain outcome, then guess what? There's only one thought. Is it not there inside the mind? There's not a thousand thoughts coming in. So when you're doing one task, you're not thinking about what I'm going to have for lunch later on, or where am I going to go out with my girlfriend, or where am I going to go out with my friends, where am I going to go out with my family? You don't want to think about all that. It's just going to be only one thought, you're in a zone. So that is focus. That's what I've said over here. Single pointed mind, and you've got only one thought at that particular moment, okay? The second thing is, you may ask, so, why is focus important? Now, that is quite obvious, right? Because most of you will say that focus is important because you have to be efficient. Efficiency basically means what? Basically means maximum output, maximum output in minimal, minimal time, okay? Minimal time. And that can only be achieved when the mind is single-pointed and has got only one thought in it and is in a zone. So then the natural question then naturally happens is Thiru, so you'll be asking how, how do we get there? So how do we then keep the mind focused? It's good that we understand what is it, why, now is the how. I put a very smiley moon over there which means that you have to plan your day, the next day, the night before, okay, before you go to sleep. Now why is that? Most of you might have heard it in other videos as well. The reason is the part of the mind that will work 24-7 for you is your subconscious mind, okay? And that is why we say plan the night before so that your subconscious mind already goes into work as you are sleeping. And also the second objective out of that, why you have to do that plan the night before, is because when you wake up in the morning to fight the inertia to wake up from bed, you know what I'm talking about, is that then your mind can get reminded of, you know what, i got to achieve this today, we got to get out of bed, we got to get there on time, okay? So this is one of the reasons why you have to plan the night before so that you get really absolute focus and on time and onto your desk, okay? That's the first thing. The second thing, which is very important for outcome, sorry, I mean, I mean, I mean for, for focus, is to know the outcome for the day, okay? To keep in focus, you need to know the outcome for the day. Now, why is this important? Because... Firstly, to know the outcome for the day, once you know the outcome for the day, you can prioritize your list and quickly you can siphon out all the stuff that is not necessary or not urgent at the moment. Okay, so you keep on to the stuff that is important, but not urgent or important and urgent. Okay, so keep on with the priority with knowing the outcome. So start from the outcome, prioritize your tasks, and then you see... No matter how much we do things, or how much you plan, sometimes the day sometimes goes out of your control. You get some calls, you get pulled down here, you get pulled down there. And you're not able to stick to your task list. Now at that point, my best advice and what we do over here ourselves at Vedanta is that we ask ourselves this one important question. If there was only one thing I could do today, if there's only one thing I could do today towards that outcome, what would it be? And then get your mind back in focus and then just concentrate on that. Some days are going to be like that. You've got to face it. You've got to accept it. Okay? So this is very important. So start with the outcome. Prioritize your list. And then if really things are not going according to your way, you can't keep to your time, you can't keep to your task list, then just ask yourself, if there's one thing I can do, what would that be? Uh, next thing, decrease the distractions. Okay? To keep focus, is, you have heard this many times before. I don't need to tell you that. Our usual distractions in today's world is all the social media, the WhatsApp, you know, the Facebook, you know, all that kind of things. 
shut off all the notifications when you are working, okay? So reduce the distractions, keep your mind naturally in focus. And the final thing I would say is very important, which we actually do every single day here at Vedanta, is to watch this first thing. You see, remember, focus is about keeping the mind in single-pointedness, right? That means in single-pointedness, only one thought. If to keep the mind in one thought, the person who has got control over the mind has got to be stable and strong and not be swayed by the mind, okay? So how do we do that? We go back to the source that has got control over the mind. And that is the the spirit, okay? So how do we get to the spirit? How do we get to the source? So we get to the source through meditation, okay? In meditation, what we are doing is basically looking to still the mind and getting to the source where we're getting the control over the mind so that it can remain in one thought in focus, okay? And what is all this towards? All this is towards, you see, you remember viewers, is that Whatever we may say or whatever, you know, we know all this theory, we've done all it before, some of you may have heard it all it before, but sometimes you still get swayed. And sometimes you know what the worst thing is? When life really hits you, right? When life really hits you, it doesn't really go according to your plan, everything is passive, everything is crumbling around you. And how do you keep to all of these things? Sometimes you may lose the drive, you might be like, ah, Tiru, what? so what about this task list? So what about this? You know, I can't really bother. You start to lose your drive. And this is when it's very important, first, of course, meditate, and also meditate and think. Take a pause and visualize on why you started all this before, why you want to make it happen. What mainly is your vision and your passion? Get that image strong into your mind again. Know why you are here for, why did you start all this? And once you remind your mind, that vibrational thought will pass through every single cell of your body and then propel you forward with new juice, new drive towards your direction, towards making it happen and keeping you focused. Thank you for listening to us. I wish this video has been of immense value. Take some time out, always digest it and then act, act, act. Okay, with that, Till the next time, as we always say, live your life fully with love, service and contribution.